Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'll be talking about how we can make use of the Exit Automation's Playwright MCP server to automate the complex APIs instead of just automating the easiest APIs that we were seeing in our other videos in our Automation's YouTube channel before. So if you have noticed that in our earlier videos, I talked about how you can do the API test using a simple publicly available APIs, which you can use to perform the API test without having any authentication in place. But now with the new release of Playwright's Exit Automation MCP server, you can do that much, much easily. So if you just go to the github.com slash automation playwright mcp server over here and if you just go to the documentation you can see that we have got a new release this time with the version 1.0.6 which has got many new feature and you can see that we have the ability to upload the files and also you can uh, you can also get the uh, visible text more accurately and also you can get the visible text with a character limits that you can set while you try to parse from a page and also you can now have an updated uh, playwright hover functionality in the in the interaction tools and there are even more support like browser supports being added which is going to use your installed browser instead of just using the browser which is already uh, something going to be downloaded by the playwright so those things are covered in this particular version so i'm going to quickly show you the complex api testing feature at least in this particular video and i'll also show how you can make use of the playwright exit automation mcp server to perform even more things so just to jump over to our um, APIs uh, of our application. You can see that we have got a new URL called as eaapi.sami.com slash swagger slash index.html. This is pretty much like the eaapp.sami.com uh, which has got the uh, the UI application. But this time we have got the API which is going to be the eaapi.sami.com. Right? So you, just, you can just go head over to this particular domain and then you can start uh, working with the API. So this is the application which has got uh, both the GraphQL endpoint as well as the REST uh, endpoint which is going to give you how you can uh, authenticate uh, or how you can uh, perform an uh, API test uh, with the authentications uh, and how you can uh, ensure that the APIs can be uh, can be creating a products and also deleting a products and things of that nature. So it has got all of these over here. So I can quickly show you what is going to happen if I just going to uh, show you in a nutshell. So if you're just going to go to the products endpoint over here do a tryout and if I try to enter the product uh, ID as one and if I hit execute, you are going to get an unauthorized exception because this particular application do needs you to have an bearer token uh, in the header. Uh, if not, the authentication is not going to happen. So how do you do the authentication? So we have got an authenticate API which is going to do that for you. So you just have to do a uh, tryout over here and for the username, you just have to use Karthik. And for the password, you just have to use one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and if I try to execute this, this is going to give you an uh, bearer token over here. You just copy this bearer token uh, and go to the authorize in the value. Just type uh, bearer and then copy uh, token. You can just paste it over here, authorize it. That's it. This is going to authorize. And now moving forward, you can just go to the same product which was giving you the unauthorized exception before. And if you try to execute this, it is going to give you the product this time. So simple, right? So you can see that this product has got a name, keyboard, description, price, and components are these. And this is a product type. So this is what the functionality of this particular APIs are. You can use the same thing for getting a product by its name uh, and its ID. And you can also get the product by name if you wanted to. Uh, and if you want to get the products, like all the products, you can get all the products as you can see over here. And if you want to get all the components, you can get it as well if I'm not wrong. So if I just gonna go up a bit, you see that get all the components. And if I hit execute, you can get all the different components which are associated in turn with the products. So this is what is this particular API portal is all about. And now we're going to see how we can make use of the Playwright MCP server from Azure Automation to do the API testing. So in order to do that, I'm going to go and just download the uh, Playwright MCP server of Azure Automation and then install it in my cloud desktop uh, over there. If you have not really watched my other videos, so please go ahead and do that. This is the way that you can actually do it. So if you just go a bit down over here, you just have to add this particular setting within your uh, cloud desktop configuration and then you can easily do that. So if you have not seen that before, if I'm just going to go over here, this is the cloud desktop that I have already installed. 
just go to these settings over here and just opens up here. And if I go to the developer, see that the Playwright MCP server is currently up and running for me over here, which is using the same thing that I'm showing you over there, right? That's what I have uh, configured it. Uh, and then once it is there, you can then start using it. So the latest version uh, by the time of this particular video recording is going to be 1.0.6, as I just told you, which is uh, this one, as you can see over here. So you can start using it. And this is quite amazing that you can just use everything from there. So in order to uh, start automating this entire API, like not just one API, but entire API that we have got in this uh, in this particular endpoint over here, I'm just going to go to this swagger.json file because this is like a schema for this entire API that we have got on this particular uh, URL. So I'm going to go copy this particular uh, schema URL. So this is the Swagger JSON URL, which is the schema, to be honest. And I'm going to say, understand the uh, Swagger documentation uh, and perform the uh, authentication, uh, perform the sorry API, oops, API test for all the endpoints in the schema see that's what i'm saying uh the swagger documentation uh link is this and i'm gonna say because this site is um is uh, going to have an authentication in place you need to call the endpoint so I'm just going to go and just help a bit uh, our our AI uh, to say that you have to call this particular endpoint, uh, which is going to which is going to uh, authenticate you, right? Endpoint this one uh, with the body as this one, right? With uh, body, sorry, body as this, um, and pass this um, token with uh, bearer and then the uh, token obtained right token obtained in the header or maybe you don't even have to pass this uh, but this is going to do a bit of a try before it's going to do that if you don't pass it it's still going to work right i'm going to copy this entire thing right now and guess what i'm going to go to uh, gemini.google.com uh, over here and I'm gonna ask it to refine this prompt for me a bit. So refine, uh, refine this prompt for me a bit. Uh, and I'm gonna hit enter. So now what's gonna happen is the Gemini is gonna go and refine this entire prompt for me. Uh, and then it's gonna give me things over here. Uh, look at that. So going to say that there are three options. Please test all the API endpoint described in this Swagger documentation before testing authenticate by calling this one uh, with a body as this. See, this is pretty much exactly the same thing that what I passed. But here it's more descriptive. And this guy is even more descriptive than what I have uh, given. And it's also saying that once authenticated, please execute the test against all the available endpoints in the schema. I would appreciate uh, a report on the status of each endpoint, noting any issues encountered. Mm, this is pretty good. I'm going to copy this options. See that I'm just using the power of AI to uh, use AI. Uh, and I'm going to paste that guy over here. And you see that within our uh, cloud desktop, I have also configured the Playwright MCP server, which means I can now use this guy to perform the API test for me. And now I'm gonna hit enter or run, and you will notice that this guy is going to start doing it. So it's gonna first fetch the Swagger documentation, and look at that, it has read all the Swagger documentation for me uh, and it is the Swagger that we have got and just calling the Playwright MCP server for me. See that it is navigating to this bigger website and it's getting all the visible text, which means it has got the schema. And now it is going to perform the uh, the post operation to get the, um, to get the bearer token for me. Look at that. So now it has did the authentication for me. And now you also notice that on the right hand side, it is doing these many tests for me. Look at that. This is amazing, guys. You can see that now the status is a testing over there. And it's also doing all sort of testing for me by doing so many different playwright underscore get 
tool call so because we have got so many different tools within our playwright mcp server over here and one such tool to perform the get operation is the playwright underscore get uh, which is this one if i'm not wrong uh, as you can see over here this one this is what is being called and if it's a, a post operation then it's going to do a post over there and because it's doing so many different get it has got an unauthorized exception there now it realized that I need to pass the uh, bearer token. So now it is passing the bearer token over here. And because I did not tell to uh, pass the bearer token along with the bearer uh, keyword. So now it is trying to pass the bearer as well, if I'm not wrong. So let's see uh, what it has done this time. Uh, yeah, I think it has success successfully um, uh, got this bearer token and it has passed it over there and see uh over here it is trying to do that all the endpoints like one by one it is going through drilling down based on the endpoints that we have got uh, in the swagger documentation and it is trying to do that and see that now it is doing a comprehensive report summary updation oh look at that that is the magic of this this guy for us over here is deleting all the existing old test report and now it is adding all of these for us over here, which is amazing. So all the get and the post and everything is successful. But for some reason, the product controller is not working as expected. Uh, and maybe it is going to go and update that as well. And it is going to work as expected for us over here. So just let's wait for this every operation to happen. There we go. And look at that. Uh, it is saying that it has completed all of these, but these products controller for some reason uh, is not working for it uh, uh, while it is trying to pass this entire thing for me over there. And it says that the JWT uh, token authentication broken. The token obtained from the login doesn't work for the protected endpoints and there is an insecure inconsistent security mode um, for the components are public while the product requires authentication so which means there is some missing gaps in my controller that can be accessible even without having to have a uh, a authentication in place over there and then it is trying to do all of these and you see that the test has got passed and failed that's the reason why i was saying that if we pass the bearer uh, and then the token format then it could even able to understand that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to maybe just do a new chat over here try out one more time and over here what i'm going to do is um, i can probably say that uh, once authenticated please execute the test of uh, against all the available endpoints in the schema uh, something like this and i would appreciate a report which is coming up over here right so this is pretty cool that i can uh, probably mention that and i'm also going to say that once authenticated please execute the test against all the available endpoints in the schema uh, with uh, by passing the header as uh, bearer uh, and then the uh, then the token uh, which is obtained from the uh, login endpoint something like that right so this is what i really wanted to uh, wanted this to happen this time and if i now try to run this code or this particular prompt this time so let's see what's really going to happen so it's going to go fetch the swagger for us over here. I think it's going to do that pretty good. Uh, and now it is going to do a navigate and then it's going to go get the visible text. It has got the complete API structures and then it is going to do the authentication by getting the token. Uh, and then it is going to do the test for all the endpoints. Look at that. So it, because it did the post this time uh, and also it just worked fine without any problem. And now it is going to do the exact same thing for us over here. Look at that. It's just putting all the... T uh, testing status and then it is going to do the execution for us over here so this is how you can see that we could able to perform all the different apis like all the complex apis to be tested using the uh, using the exit automations playwright mcp server and also with the power of the new models like sonnet 4 it is now trying to enhance and leverage the power even further and the new features that i have released in the exit automations playwright mcp server is really kicking in and it is trying to do the test for us without any issues over here so this is the power guys and i think you really like the update and i'm sure that with this you don't even have to do any API test. I mean, if you have an application and if you have got the APIs, which is hosted within your own machine or maybe if it is hosted in the, in the public domain, you just have to pass these details and then run it up 
you will see the exact same result that I'm getting in over here. So this is the prompt that you gotta be following while you try to do that. That's it guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.